I love you too. Nice guy over there, big strong guy. I love you, Joe, but I love you. So look, we've had an incredible period of time. June 16th we started, and it's been an amazing ride. All over the world we're talking about it. It's a movement. They say they've never seen anything like it. The biggest crowds of anybody by far. The other night, Bernie had 3,000, I had 17,000. They said, thank you. And they talked about me, Donald Trump made a speech, blah, 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 never mentioned the number of people. Then they talked about Bernie. Bernie Sanders had a massive crowd of 3,000 people. It's really, I'll tell you what, the press is so biased against us. But we don't care. I really believe we have the numbers. I really believe it. You know, they used to call it the silent majority. Now I think we're going to call it the noisy majority. We're not silent. Yeah. In San Jose, we yeah. had an amazing packed crowd. It yeah. was packed. And it was incredible. They had the basketball game on, which is, you know, that area, the San Francisco game. And we had some crowd. It was absolutely incredible. And it was a love fest inside, no problems whatsoever. We went on, we spoke, we had a good time for an hour. I said, I want to get you guys out to see, you, know, you can see the, the San Francisco team, right? The Warriors won. But I wanted to get them out. They said, no, we don't want to get out. We want to stay. We had just an amazing time. And that was it. And we wrapped up. Everybody was cheering like crazy for forever. Then they walk out and they get accosted by a bunch of thugs burning the American flag. <laughs> few days ago and we're winning by three points we're winning we're beating Hillary yeah. did you see that Tony speech she made yesterday every word and people think oh did she speak well she got two a teleprompter here and there you ever notice bum 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 Donald Trump is a bad man Donald Trump has a bad tone we need a tough tone in this country folks. Yeah. people's heads. They're killing us at the border. Our country's a mess. We have the worst jobs reported in six and a half years. Our labor participation rate, you're talking about decades of a disaster. People are making less money now than they made 18 years ago and working harder. And I'm supposed to have a nice tone. No, hello. We're going to bring back our jobs. We're going to take our country back. We're going to run it properly, folks. And you're going to be proud of your country. And you know, they do research. Good. I like that. USA. 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 I like that. I like that. So, California. Good place. By the way, I'm going to play heavy in California, right? I think we can win it. Yeah. You know? We get crowds like this all over the place. They, they didn't even give you a hanger. There's no hanger big enough. They don't even give hangers anymore. But it's amazing the kind of receptivity that we have. And every magazine and every newspaper, whether they like us or not, and I say us, because honestly, folks, I'm a messenger. 
Am I doing a good job as an awesome yeah. yeah. And it's incredible what's happened. And people are saying it's the most incredible political ph phenomenon. I mean, they're actually saying that they've ever seen. One of the pundits told me the other day, and very strongly said, you know, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. The job you've done is so incredible. You came from nowhere. You never did this before. You have fighting 17 governors and senators and professional politicians. I've been fighting them all my life. I like fighting them. But you've been fighting all these people. And week after week, you're down to 16, you're down to 14, you're down to 12, you're down to 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And, and they said there's never been anything like it. And they said, it doesn't matter whether we win or lose. It's been incredible. It'll be in the history books forever. They said it's never happened. Bill O'Reilly said the single greatest political phenomenon he's ever seen in his lifetime. And I'm saying, what the hell are they talking about? We have to win, right? We have to win. We didn't come this far to lose. So we're going to play California because I think Hillary is very weak. I think she's pathetic. Yeah, I think yeah. she should be in jail. Yeah, for what yeah. she, did with yeah. she should be in jail. She should be in jail for what she did with those emails. Let me tell you. You know, she wants to play a little dumb. You know, they go back and she polls it. Every word that she says was polled. I don't poll. I don't have teleprompters here, folks. I don't need teleprompters. It's called like up here, and it's called memory, and it's called other things. And I, I speak from here and from the heart, okay? Because that's what we need. And every single thing she said yesterday was cold. And her people wrote it out, and they don't see the teleprompters. And it makes it like, oh, she's saying it. A lot of people didn't see that. They said, oh, they didn't know that. She's reading a script, and she read a line, and then she has the phony audience, this is a real audience. She has the phony audience, and they have the guy in the back, he's going, now! And they clap. And these pundits, if I ever did that, I'd be run out of town, believe me. They would get us. But for Hillary, it's okay. And what she said were so many lies. Like, he wants Japan to get nuclear weapons. I don't want them to get nuclear weapons. I want them to pay us the kind of money that we have to have so we don't lose money protecting Japan and Germany and Saudi Arabia. We have to do this. And South Korea. I mean, we're protecting South Korea from the maniac in the north, and we're protecting him. Now, he actually said, you know, I said this. They said, would you mind having negotiations with North Korea? No problem. No, who the hell cares? You have a negotiation. I'm not going there. But you have a negotiation. They say, we will never talk. We will never talk. How stupid are these people? They've been selling our country down the tubes. They've been spending money. Who knows if the talks work? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. They probably will, if you want to know the truth. Then Putin said, Donald Trump is a genius. He's going to be the next great leader of the United States. What am I thinking? So they wanted me to disavow what he said. How dare you call me a genius? How dare you call me a genius, Vladimir? Never say a thing. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Woo! And I'm not talking from weakness, folks. I know all about negotiating from weakness and from strength. Hillary Clinton is a weak person. Hillary Clinton is totally scripted. Hillary Clinton is a thief. And Hillary Clinton should be in jail for what she did. Yeah! Benghazi, I reckon you're right. But she should be. What she's done is terrible. So look, we have a situation. I can't believe it. Look at all the people out there trying to get in. Hello, everybody. Look at those people. Look at all those people out there. You guys have all the goodwill. Why they couldn't have? They couldn't have pulled these fences a little bit further out. <laughs> But you don't want them to come in. You have enough people here, right? See, that's the way life works. Life is vicious. So, when we talk about the different attributes, I mean, you look at the word tone, but I'll use a different word. Bernie Sanders.
Sanders said that Hillary Clinton has bad judgment. She has bad judgment. You know, we're in a cyber world. This is now a cyber world. Russia is knocking us off. China is knocking us off. They're stealing so much. What China's doing with our intellectual property, stealing billions, we don't do anything about it, during her regime. But you look at what's going on. So here's Hillary, all loused up with a simple email system. And you know, yes, why did she do it? I understand why she did it. Because she's a thief, that's why she did it. I get why she did it. But talk about judgment. How do you have a president with that kind of bad judgment? She could have used the government stuff. She could have taken the government server. Assume everybody's listening to you. I always do. Every time I pick up a phone, I assume people are listening, you know. Now, you sue their ass off if they are. If you can find them, you drop a little lawsuit on them and you make them pay bigly. But you know what? For her to do what she did puts our country at risk. She's Secretary of State. She's got people like Uma, who's Wiener, Anthony Wiener. She's the wife of Anthony Wiener. Now, how would you like Anthony Wiener to be having all these secrets? Well, guess what? She tells Anthony Wiener everything there is. I don't want, I know Anthony Wiener. I don't want him knowing anything, folks, okay? And I never, ever want him to tweet me, right? Does anybody want him to tweet me? No, no, she's married to Anthony Weiner. She goes home, she does like, hey look, folks, that's the way life works. She goes home, she tells him everything. Who the hell wants that? This is not right, all right? It's not right. Now, General Petraeus has suffered greatly. Many other people have suffered greatly for doing far less yes. than what Hillary Clinton did. And you know what, folks? To me, as the woman just said, but she got away with it. It looks like she got away with it. Unless I win. Yeah! Yeah! And everything will be fair, but we're gonna have an attorney general, and the attorney general is gonna take a look and see. Because you know there's a five-year or a six-year statute of limitations. So she really is running for some pretty important reasons for herself. Look, when somebody does something so wrong as that. They have to pay the consequences. She put our nation in difficulty. Did you see her IT specialist? He's taking the fifth. The word is he's ratting her out like you wouldn't believe it, but they want to try and save her. That's not the way the government is supposed to work. They're not supposed to be trying to save her. They're supposed to be doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. But the press, it never, it never lets up, and it never follows that story, it never follows the real story. So do you remember in Iowa, I made a speech, and I said, you know, let's, see, let's raise some money for our bills. Yeah? And I think it maybe would raise a half a million, or a million, or two million, or something. But let's say, we end up raising almost six million dollars. And I got bad publicity. Can you imagine? This can only happen to me, believe me. I end up raising almost, I have more calls and more emails and more tweets at real Donald Trump, everybody, at real Donald Trump. It's actually amazing. You know, I tweet something, CNN and Fox, all of a sudden they say, we have breaking news, Donald Trump has just made it, I'm sitting there tweeting, beep, beep, beep. Donald Trump has just issued a major statement. It's a weird deal going on here, folks, but we have a lot. You know, we have like almost nine million on Twitter, we got a similar number on Facebook, on Instagram, like a million and a half or something. We're soon going to be 20 million people. That's like owning the New York Times without the losses, right? Yeah! Oh, good. And then they say, you shouldn't use, you don't tell me this, my opponents. They have three people. They say, you shouldn't use your Twitter. I say, why? That's like in golf, a long hitter. Don't use your driver. We'll use anything we have to to win. We're going to win. We got to win. But it's sure. So we raised almost six million dollars, and the dishonest press—they are so dishonest. Not all of them, but many of them. They are so dishonest. If I would have done nothing, it would have been fine. I said, let's raise some money for the vets. But I'm still glad I did it.
because I have gotten more credit from the vets and more thank yous from the vets. We gave it out to many, many groups. I don't even know how many. But, you know, they wake up and they get 100,000 in the mail. They get 150, they get 250. One of them got, I think, $1.1 million in the mail. And they're great. I mean, they're great. They're great people. And they appreciate it. So if they appreciate it, it's fine. But they put the negative spin on everything. No matter what we do, you know, it's funny. The New York Times puts me on what? Oh, get a medic, please. Medic. Okay? Okay, you just take it easy.